What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel. The Steam Next Fest ends in under 24 hours, so get in and check out all your favorite demos that are available right now. Uh, some of these demos I think will continue to be available after uh, the Next Fest is over. However, we know they're here, check them out. Now, one of the most played demos so far in Steam Next Fest is Brotato. I covered the demo on this one before. This is a lot like Vampire Survivors. It's that same kind of genre and feel. It is a, an action a roguelite and just a lot of fun. Uh, it's got a wonderful little art style and I know the demo has been updated. So there's changes to the demo. I wanted to hop back in and give it another whirl. So here we go. This is a Brotato. Now, first off, you get a character selection. You got lots of choices. 5% uh, damage to the end of wave when you take damage. The Masochist, the Pacifist, the Warrior, the Mage, the Savage character, 25% lifesteal with primitive weapons. We got Speedy, the Ranger. All max HP gains are reduced by 50%. That could be a little tough on that one. I, I'm drawn to the Ranger. Um, we got the Mutant. Loud, 30% damage, but more enemies. We got Dumb. He's lucky. Crazy. 150 range with blade weapons. Now that one's kind of interesting. Uh, and 50% attack speed. I haven't played with any of the blade weapons, so let's go with Crazy. Uh, we'll just give a look at what else is there. Let's check out Crazy here. And we are going to start off with a bit of a shank and a lightning shiv. I like it. Let's uh, see how this goes here. Oh yeah, we throw in knives. The lightning shiv is kind of interesting. Now last time I went with the ranger, so I did kind of want to mix it up for this one, uh, just to get another, um, you know, a little different feel in for the run. Uh, of course, every wave you're going to get some upgrade options, and that is the roguelike element of the game. Uh, we got luck and armor. Let's go with luck. Okay, and then we've got 47 coin to spend here. We got a rock, which is a blunt weapon. We got a bat, which is an item. 2% lifesteal. Do we want to go with the rock? I mean, we can actually afford both. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and snag both of them. Let's see what this rock does. Okay, the rock is still being thrown. Now, obviously, I took the character with bladed weapons. Choosing a rock was probably not very smooth. It seems like the rock is almost melee range. Is he punching with it? Looks like he's kind of punching with it. So, I think the rock is a shorter melee range. Uh, as soon as we get something better, we'll replace that bad boy. And uh, wave two is now complete. What do we got? We got speed, damage, and attack speed. Let's go with attack speed. Uh, we can get another knife in the deal. Scared sausage. Attacks have a 25% chance to deal burn damage. That's kind of interesting, but I feel like I need more weapons at this point. So let's get an additional knife in the mix and uh, see what we can do. I do want to replace that rock eventually, I think. The knives are uh, almost feel like they're melee range as well. Now we've got that increased range on them with this character. I think that may be why they're uh, shooting out as far as they are. Hopefully I can survive more than two seconds here. We're getting it, we're getting it. I want to see what other... Uh you know, I still, I don't think I've gotten all six weapon slots full yet, playing through the demo here. See, so we got life steal, we got range damage, let's take, uh, actually let's go with the luck. Okay, we got another knife, burning spreads in nearby enemies, we got a taser, slows enemies in a radius. I mean, I kind of feel like that might be a good thing to have. Get a little crowd control in the mix. Uh, I do want to get that rock replaced, I think. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the rock. We'll have to we'll have to see. We're getting a little uh, a little taser action going out there now. Oh, we are taking some 
range shots here. We're going to have to watch out for those projectiles now. We got 30 seconds to go. I'd hate to lose uh, this soon, right? These knives are actually wrecking. Completely wrecking. I'm taking a lot of range damage, though. This is definitely a game to watch out for uh, if you have not Steam listed it or wish listed it yet on Steam. I'd strongly urge everybody to do that. Show the developer uh, that you're interested. And um, I don't know. I just think the game looks really cool. It's, it's very fun to play, but additionally, it just looks cool. Let's see, we got. Let's go with increased range. Now, what do we got here? We got four arms, melee damage, range damage. Let's go with attack speed again. And what can we take? Ooh, a fist weapon. Unarmed. Damage, crit. Uh, it's got a super fast cooldown on it. Let's go with that. Let's try out the old fist weapon. Now this will uh, give us a full loadout of six weapons here. That fist weapon should help me out for anything that's getting too, too close here. Ooh, no. Rubbing them wrong here, rubbing them wrong here. The art and everything looks super clean in the game. Everything looks really nice with it. I'm definitely excited to see the launch version of this game. There's just so many really fun games like this out here right now. You know, 20 Minutes Till Dawn was super fun. Um, you know, that of course uh, is an early access product now. Oh no, oh no! Just getting owned here, huh? All right. Well, that was super sketch. All right, we get some armor. Let, you know what? Let's go with the life steal. Um, plus eight percent damage. I think that's a good choice. What else do we have? Fifteen percent chance to deal one damage to a random enemy when you pick up a material. Then we got charcoal, which is going to be similar to the rock, I think. I'm wondering how good this baby elephant would be. Well, I mean, let's try it. We can grab the charcoal too. Um, get a little bit more elemental. Actually, this is all we've got elemental damage on. Melee damage. I've only got melee damage on. Well, actually, I got it on the knives too. And then the fist, of course. So this might work out. This might work out. Let's, uh, let's check it out here. I guess I can't replace the rock. Or maybe I can. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like in Vampire Survivors, you can't replace a weapon once you choose it. Uh, you can only evolve it into something else or you're just stuck with it. So I may have... Uh, I'm not sold on the rock yet, y'all. I'm not sold on the rock. We're going to wave six here. This game is just crazy fun, y'all. It really, really is. It's free demo, so, I mean, there is literally no reason not to check it out. Uh, especially if you like a Vampire Survivors flavored game. Alright, Cyberball. 10% chance to deal 4 damage to a random enemy when an enemy dies. Let's take it. Ooh, look at this. 18% attack speed. Let's get that attack speed kicking. Uh, and what do we have here? Crit damage, melee damage. Um, let's go with the melee damage. Oh, and here we go. Okay, so that actually replaced our last weapon. So we actually can replace weapons. Oh, here we go. We can actually recycle a weapon. Let's recycle that and throw a rocket launcher in because why the heck not? So there you go. That is the... The question is self-answered here. You can indeed replace weapons. Now, I'm all built into melee uh, damage. Why I took the rocket launcher, I don't know. But I took it because it's our rocket launcher, for God's sakes.
I lost two of my max health. Oof. Definitely getting a little bit more intense here. Needs more power. Yeah, see, I don't have enough to, like, push through a pack. Not enough oomph. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I just tried to push through that one and completely lost the run. Uh, no love there. Now, like I said, Brotato, it's had an active demo for a little while now, so the demo for this one will probably keep going. And I can't suggest it enough, as it's just crazy, crazy fun. If you like Vampire Survivors, you're just going to like this game. There's just no doubt. Uh, it's very, very pretty. It's different, yet it's similar. Uh, by all means, worth checking out. Links will be down in the description below. And don't forget, y'all, the Steam Next Fest ends tomorrow. So get on over there and check out any free demos that look interesting to you. It's a big opportunity to play something for free and get a little taste or a little bit of flavor and see if you like that game. But that will do it for now. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.